Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft building tutorial. Well, today we have this really cool hollow log fairy house to build. It would fit perfectly in any of your mythical forest enchanted wood builds that you might have in dark oak forests or mega taigas. So if building this hollow log fairy house sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, let's look at the materials we'll need for this build. We're going to need two mossy cobblestone blocks, two mossy cobblestone stairs, 31 oak planks, four oak stairs, two spruce doors, about a half a stack of some kind of structure block. I'm using dirt. It can be any other material that you want to use for this. It's just to basically block off some areas that we'll need for the build. A total of 95 dark oak logs, uh, two dark oak wood, one dark oak stair, one dark oak trap door, 22 spruce logs, two spruce wood, two spruce stairs, six spruce trap doors, six spruce fences, 21 brick blocks, 13 brick stairs, one brick wall, approximately 27 red mushroom blocks. You can use other mushroom blocks for this build or other material to uh, act as the mushroom elements if it's if you're playing in bedrock and it's hard to get the um, the mushroom blocks in survival, um, I recommend using some of the new blocks like the uh, the warp nether warp block or the nether warp block from um, the nether update. Six smooth quartz blocks, nine smooth quartz stairs, a furnace, a crafting table, two campfires, two coarse dirt blocks, eight glass panes, a water source or water bucket, four barrels, an armor stand, a bed. I chose red because the interior decorations, including the carpet and the banners and the bed are all gonna match. So I went with red, you can use any color you want. Uh, 11 red carpet, two red banners, three lanterns, four flower pots, one brewing stand, two flowers of some type for the outside. I chose red once again to go with the color of the uh, mushroom blocks and the interior and two other flowers for the interior of the build, two red mushrooms, four item frames, and then for decorations in the item frames, I used a nether star, a diamond sword, and then a dark oak sapling and an oak sapling. I just like the way that these look. You can put anything in there that you want for decorations. And for the exterior, we'll just put random vines around here and there as a decoration. This is optional, you do not have to do this. And then for the armor stand, I just grabbed some armor. Um, I think a diamond helmet, diamond chest plate, gold leggings, and leather boots looks really nice on the armor stand when you have it in the corner. Now I know I went through that rather quickly, but I'll leave a complete list of the materials and the numbers in the description below. So let's go ahead and grab our uh, building materials right now, which is the, the top couple rows. We don't need the uh, decorations just yet. So we'll leave those in our little chest here until we're uh, ready to do the interior of the build. So let's go ahead and grab those rows like that and get started. Now for this build, we're gonna need an area that is at least 12 wide by eight deep and a space that's 14 high. So once you have a space like that cleared out and uh, you can it can be flat or it can be on a hillside like the um, the log got stuck on a hill as it fell down and uh, that's where the house is being built and we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to start with our mossy cobblestone stairs so we're going to put down two mossy cobblestone stairs like this and then right behind it we're going to put down our two mossy cobblestone blocks like that now straight back from the mossy cobblestone blocks we are going to switch to our oak planks and we're going to go six back on either side like that. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And we're gonna go ahead and put down one more block right here like that. So it's three along the back row. Next, let's switch to our oak stairs and we'll do oak stairs right here on this one and this one facing this direction like this. And then coming over on this side here, we'll go back to our oak planks. Put one there and one here like that. 
and we're going to come up top here like this. So fly up one, two, three, one, two, three. So you should have a, a two opening right here when we put down the final two oak stairs like that. And this is our window. And then up at the top here, we're gonna put down two more of the oak planks just like that. Okay, and then while we're back here, let's go ahead and add a couple more blocks over to the side. So coming up one on this corner, we're gonna put a block there like that. And then on the other side opposite, we're gonna do one on the same level. So up two from the bottom and then one above it. So the back should look like this. Okay, let's take our oak planks and we'll go around front here and we're gonna build our front to the house. So we'll switch to a temporary block, put one right next to the mossy cobblestone on this side and one on this side right here. And we'll get our oak planks and put three above it. So one, two, three, one, two, and three, and then connect across the top, one, two, like that. So we should have a two by two opening right here. And then on top of this, we're going to put two more like that. Let's get rid of these temporary blocks and switch to our spruce doors and come inside. And we'll put down one here and one here on top of the mossy cobblestone so they open out like this. Now let's go ahead and switch out some of our inventory. So we'll take our mossy cobblestone out, our oak out, because we're done with our oak for now. And then also our... Um, spruce door and we will grab our crafting table our furnace and we're going to grab bricks brick stairs and then a dark oak stair so the dark oak stair we can go ahead and put this down first we're going to skip one block on the corner here and put it right here facing this direction and then over on this corner where we have this space we're going to switch to our crafting table put our crafting table down and then next to it we're going to switch to our bricks and do two bricks out this direction diagonally a brick here and then two bricks over here and if you've seen any of my other videos you know I'm fond of this design I like to have a a way for us to have a campfire on top of a furnace that way we can smelt things and cook food in an early game it's just I think it just looks nice too it looks like a nice little fireplace so we put our little furnace down like this now switching back to our bricks, let's go ahead and bring them up one more like that. And we'll do our stairs and we'll put one stair here, one stair here like this. Now coming to the outside, before we forget, we'll put down a brick stair facing this way and one facing this way. Now if we come back to the interior here, um, we'll want to have logs coming out and making kind of the sides of the wall. So we can use this as our kind of area to build off this wall. So we'll go ahead and switch to our dark oak logs and we're gonna come out a total of one, two, three, four, five. So we're two past this stair here. So one, two, three, four, and then five. And then let's come around to the back side here and we're gonna come off one, two, three, four, five. So we're one further back this direction as well. Now switching back to our temporary block, let's go ahead and put a block down here and we'll come out one like this and then we'll come up and we'll do another stair step like that. And this will be the where we can build off of these logs going this way uh, for this next part. So switching back to our dark oak logs, we're gonna come a total of 10 this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So we should be one short of this little log sticking out here. And then continuing up, we're just gonna come off three from this block right here. So one, two, three. So we should have a little like gap here and the log stops like this. Now we can put down a temporary block here like this and then continue with the log one more. And then let's go ahead and also put down two more temporary blocks like this and switch black to our log. And we're gonna come out a total of three. One, two, three. So it should just be like a little stair step here, like one less each time we go up. Let's go ahead and get rid of these temporary blocks. That, 
and we can get rid of these guys in the back like this as well. Now before we go further on this one side, let's go ahead over here and we'll extend the chimney up a little bit further. So we want to come up a total of five blocks. So we already put down two, one, two, so three, four, five, and we'll do the sides like this over here and over here, like there. Then we're going to put our stairs like this, all facing in towards that center hole. And we're gonna put another brick block like that over top. Now this will make it easier for us to build off of for the rest of this build on this side. So coming down here, we're going to have our dark oak logs and we're going to come out a total of two. So one, two, one, two. Then right above that one, we're going to come out three, one, two, three. And then moving over to this block, one above the stairs here, we're going to do one, two, three, four. So it should be even with this one right here. Now let's come around to the front and we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, and then three. Now let's go inside one more time and we'll put some upside down brick stairs right here. So here's your brick stair, skip one, upside down brick stair. And we'll just come across the front like this, like so. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these items we have in our hot bar. Like we don't need the furnace, the crafting table, or the dark oak steering longer. And let's go ahead and grab um, spruce logs, spruce wood, and our glass panes. So switching to our glass panes, we can go ahead and put our windows in right here, like this. And we'll go ahead and put um, windows in like this too. So two in that gap there and we'll come up two more like that. And this will give us an area to build off of as well. Now let's switch over to our spruce logs and we're gonna come up here and then off of this glass pane, we're gonna come back a total of three. One, two, three. So we should be even with the back of this oak log. And then on the front off of this glass pane, we're going to come out a total of four. So one, two, three, and then four. So one over this one below it. Then on this set over here, off of this brick, we're gonna come out one, two, three, four. And then coming back here, let's go ahead and put down a temporary block of dirt and then switch back to our spruce logs and do one, two, and then three. And the reason why I'm using two different variants of wood is it gives it a little bit of a different shade. And we're also going to strip some of these a little bit later uh, just to make it look like it's a little bit sun worn. Now let's switch back to our dark oak logs again. And coming off of this area here, we're gonna put it down another temporary block right here. And then we will switch to our dark oak logs and we're gonna come out three more. One, two, three. So we should have one past this area here and we can get rid of this temporary block as well. So switching to a temporary block again, we're going to put one like this right here and then one above it. And we're gonna come over a total of six with the dark oak logs. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So you should have ended right above this uh, window pane right here. And then we're gonna switch to our dark oak wood and put the dark oak wood like that. And just make sure that you're facing this direction so the grain looks like it goes right in there, like, it's, like it belongs. And we can go ahead and get rid of this temporary block again, and this one too. And we'll come over to this side and we're gonna build off of the brick right here with dark oak logs again and come out one, two, three, one, two, three. And with our dark oak logs, we're gonna come across the top off of uh, this oak plank total of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's go over to this oak slab here and then we'll put our dark oak logs against it. A total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one past this log right here. And then on this side, 
we're going to put down two more temporary blocks like that, switching back to our dark oak logs and come seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one past this block right here. Now let's go ahead and add one more temporary block right here um, next to this log, one past this wood block here. And we're gonna come out with our dark oak, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then right above this one here, we're gonna put down our dark oak wood like that. We can get rid of these temporary blocks now and switch back to our dark oak logs and come seven back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going past the oak planks. Now let's switch to our spruce wood. And we're going to come to the right behind the brick block and put one down facing this direction. And then switching to our spruce logs, we're going to go ahead and come out four off the back. So one, two, three, four. So we're one further behind like this. Now we're almost done with the house. So let's go ahead and switch to our spruce wood. And right in front of this hole right here, we're gonna put our spruce wood down facing this direction, and then switch back to the log and come out a total of four. One, two, three, four. And then finally, we are going to go to a temporary block one more time, put it even with this wood block here, and we're gonna to switch to our dark oak logs and come out a total of five. Now we can go ahead and get rid of this temporary block and let's take a look at it. Okay, let's go ahead and switch out some of the blocks that we have in here so far. Um, we are done with temporary blocks and the wood blocks now. So we can get rid of all of those in here like this. And let's go ahead and grab our mushroom blocks, our spruce stairs, spruce trap doors, uh, spruce fences, and we'll go ahead and grab our, our smooth quartz variants, as well as our brick wall. Okay, let's select our mushroom block. And like I said earlier, you can use other types of blocks. If you um, are in bedrock you, and you don't have access to silk touch uh, yet in uh, Java, you can use any of the wool or concrete or anything else that looks pretty cool um, or mushroom-like you can put down here. But we're gonna use the, the mushroom blocks, the red ones, and we'll put one right here one right here and then two above the door like that. And we'll switch to our spruce fences and put two below it like it's holding up a little canopy like that. And then coming over to the front underneath the window frame right here. Let's go ahead and uh, I forgot to grab our coarse dirt and um, we'll go ahead and just move this in here really temp temporarily. And we're gonna put two coarse dirt right below the window right in front of this like that. So we have a space below our window for a flower box. And we'll do our spruce stairs upside down on either side, like so. And then we'll put also trap doors down in front. Do this with grass, like that. And we're gonna come up with our spruce fences too, on either side, like that. And then mushroom blocks above like that. So that front window frame should look like this now. I know some of these organic designs can be kind of challenging to follow along. Uh, I'm trying to go slow uh, and I'll try later on to put some of the uh, drawings that I did for this if that helps out online. So right here on top of this brick block we're going to put another brick block going up and then we're going to place a, a brick stair going this direction and a brick stair upside down going up. So it should kind of curve like this. Then on top of this upside down stair, we're gonna switch back to our brick blocks and come up two, one, two, like that. And we'll put our fireplace in here. So temporarily, let's go ahead and put down a dirt block. And then we're going to put down our wall that we had here earlier, like this, above it. And then around each side, we are going to do the spruce trap doors flipping up like this. We'll be able to place in a campfire here later. So we'll get rid of that temporary block for now. Now let's go ahead and put in our mushrooms. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is right next to this stair right here, we're gonna put a smooth quartz upside down stair facing this direction. 
And then we're going to put down a smooth quartz stair facing this direction. And then one, an upside down one like that. So you should have a structure that looks like this right now. Now let's come back over here and put another stair facing out this way. And then an upside down one facing this direction like that. We'll switch to our smooth quartz blocks. Put one up here like that. One up here like this. And then back to our smooth quartz stairs. We're going to have one facing this direction and an upside down one facing this direction. And this is just to get the stalks far enough away from each other that we can put the mushroom caps on and they don't run into each other. On this further back one, we'll put down a stair facing this direction and an upside down stair facing this direction. And then on this one, we'll do a smooth quartz block up like this. And then finally, we'll do two more smooth quartz blocks coming up like this here. Now let's switch to our mushroom blocks and we're gonna surround this block right here, smooth quartz with the red mushroom blocks like this. And then above it, we're going to put a cross shape and then two mushroom blocks up like this. So you should have a shape that ends up like this one. Now on the smaller one, we are just going to do a cross shape off of this last little quartz block sticking up like that and then one above it. So we should have two mushrooms that are peeking out that look like this now. Now let's swap out some of these materials for our decorations. We'll keep the campfires and the dark oak trap door and get rid of everything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab everything left in here that is a decorative element and finish this build. So the first thing that we're gonna do is let's go up to the top We'll put it in our campfire at the top, just like that. And then coming down into the interior, we'll go ahead and add the campfire above the furnace, clicking right there. This also adds some good interior light for us. The next, let's go ahead and put the armor stand in this corner. I like to face armor stands kind of at an angle. Uh, just, I think it looks cool when you have the armor sitting on it. It's like a, just a nice little angle like that. And we'll put our bed down here like that. And then above this, we're gonna, first we're gonna do is we're gonna water log the stair. If you've seen any of my other previous videos, I like to do this because this is an infinite water supply to fill up your um, brewing stand bottles with, um, but it doesn't take up much space and you can easily put a trap door over top of it. And I think it looks really just kind of cool. Like that. In the corner, we're going to put a barrel, like so. And the brewing stand we'll put on top of that barrel, like that. Now let's switch back to our barrel, and we'll put one up here above the armor stand, like that. One up in the corner, like this. And our final one, above the bed up here like that. Switching to our flower pots, we'll put one in this little nook right here and one in this nook right here. Now we can go ahead and switch to our interior flowers and put them, the blue one or whatever one you want right here. We'll put the white one over here like that. And we can put the red ones out here in, in this flower box here, like that. We have two more flower pots, put them right here, and we'll put our red mushrooms in here as well. So we'll put down red mushroom there, red mushroom there, like that. Let's switch to our lanterns, and we'll put one up here, like that, for exterior light. We'll put one above the brewing stand like that and one up here in this little nook like that. Now on either side of the windows, let's go ahead and switch a red banner. So it looks like curtains are hanging up and we'll do carpet on the floor in all of these areas like so. Let's go ahead and get our armor and other decorations out. Okay, and we'll put the armor on the armor stand We'll 
We'll put two item frames above the door. And then two in the wall above the window, like that. And we can put our nether star and sword or our tree up here. Actually, let's do the tree and the nether star and then we'll put our sword above the door and the dark oak sapling. Now the interior should look like this. Nice and cozy. Let's go ahead and take a look outside really quick here. Yeah, looking pretty nice. Last thing to do for the exterior is we're going to strip some of these logs. So let's go ahead and um, we'll grab an axe. It can be any axe. And it doesn't really matter which logs you strip. Um, I just think having a variance in the texture and color um, makes it look a little bit more natural, like it's been weathered, it's been outside for a while. And the final step to the structure, if you um, want to have some vines around just to give it kind of an overgrown look, uh, you can put some vines down around the back, um, sometimes having them down underneath here like it's, it's gathering some moss, looks pretty cool as well. It's really up to you and your design aesthetics if uh, this is something that you like or not, but those vines will eventually grow and cover this in. Um, but yeah, I think it looks nice when you have a little bit of greenery on top of here. And before we completely leave this outside space, let's go ahead and make a path up to the house. And I like to just kind of pepper pathing blocks around as we approach up to the house like that. And then um, putting some other blocks in as well. Uh, some regular cobblestone, some mossy cobblestone. Also, the oak planks look really good when you mix them in randomly as well, right there. And we'll switch to the mossy and we'll do some mossy cobblestone um, coming up into the, the house like this as well. Another thing we can do too, to kind of give it a little bit more character as we're walking up, um, we can get the stone buttons and you place them around on the terrain and it looks like little stones that have been kind of cast around and you can surround the house um, and the little pond here with these types of little details. And then also the other thing I like to do is I like to add uh, smaller mushroom lighting sources in here. So we can come over here um, and we can put in a sandstone wall, put a jack-o'-lantern on top of it and then surround this with our red mushroom blocks like this and the one on top right there and we can also then add smaller mushrooms um, around as well so if we want to have uh, one back here in the corner we can put a birch fence down and a single mushroom block on top of it and these look great when you kind of scatter them around the build as well just to make it look like this is kind of like a, a little bit more of a grown up like mushroom area that has some interesting things going on within it. So we'll put one over here as well. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more from the Dad Sky in the future, click that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider leaving a like. It really helps the channel grow. Until next time, bye for now.